One of the things I love most is getting lost. And right now, we are here in the middle of Turkey. This is our stallion that's going to be bringing us through, showing you some of the most hidden gems, including one place that I simply cannot believe exists. This is the story of making our way to the center of Turkey to take you to Cappadocia. And the road trip went a little something like this. Ah! Good morning from Fethiye, Turkey, and this morning I'll be doing something that will give me far more energy than any espresso shot ever could. This is gonna be a crazy start. What have we gotten ourselves into? If your friends jumped off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff? The answer is yes. We would all jump off a cliff. It's very much the answer for me. <laughs> we are so high up right now on this tiny little gravel road with a sudden drop off. Right there, you can see our parachutes. Suspense is building. <laughs> I'm starting to have a panic attack. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really scared, you guys. Usually I'm not this worried, but I've had time to think about it up that really crazy car ride, and I'm really nervous. I'm um, cool as can be. Cool as a cucumber. See you on the other side. Why am I even doing this? Uh, we are at the mercy of the winds, and right now we're just waiting for the right wind direction. Fingers crossed, it all works out. Go, 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 go. This okay. is Sarat. Sarat and I are gonna glide our way down over the middle uh, lagoon yes. and back to safety. Let's do this. Bye, Brett. Bye, Lexi. It is my time. Bye. -bye. Right now we're just cruising. It's so calm up here. Listening to Bob Marley floating up in the sky. Thank you, Sadat. Hey! We're alive. Hey, that's Ruby. Squad is back together again. No one dropped off. Where's Brett? Uh oh. Maybe we lost Brett. Wait, wait, we're missing one. He took off first. So every trip, you have to have that one person that's doing all the food research, that's most invested in food, and that's Ruby. She has found us this insane spot, Kukina, which is a really good breakfast spot, maybe lunch too, once again. So we've got to check out of our hotel. If you guys are coming to Fethiye, we found the best hotel here by literally going door to door, and this place is so beautiful. Check it out, it's called La Farine. We got ourselves a rental car, and now begins the Turkish road trip. We've left Fethiye and we're now headed off to one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen on Instagram. We'll definitely have to see if it lives up to expectations. I have the child locks on so What's none up, of guys? these little guys in the back can fall out during our trip. <laughs> Christian packs too many huge suitcases, so this is what we have to deal with. Yeah, what did Lexi do to get this? She traveled to every country in the world. So. Yeah, that's Wait, what it is. all 196 of them? Yeah. 196. Oh. By, uh, you know, 21 years old. One year anniversary, two days from now. It's Can't argue with that. It's a perk, so. Oh my god, you Let's go. So after about three hours of driving from Dalaman, near the airport, where we started our trip, we are now within sight of Pamukkale. I can actually see it. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? This is not what I expected whatsoever. It literally looks like spring skiing, where you start to see some of the grass come through. It doesn't look real. Now you're probably wondering why this is here, and so was I, so I went to trusty Wikipedia, where only the best information comes from. Apparently, Pamukkale literally means cotton castle. It is a giant fortress of white fluffiness, but what it really is, is it's actually all the carbonate buildup, the minerals that have built up, from the spring water here in the area. It's not like anything I've personally ever seen before, not on any scale like that. Let's get up there. So to get in is 80 Turkish lira. So we've got about one kilometer to get all the way up this hill. The sun is setting on us and it just looks so magical. I wish we were here just a little bit earlier. 
Oh. Wow, it's super grippy. You're not gonna slip. Feels really nice. Have you been in that car for a couple hours? Yeah. It's so hard not to be up here and assume this is man-made. I've just never seen anything like this in all of my travels. This is hot spring water, so it's so nice to the feet. It goes back and forth between cold pools, hot pools, and this is so much cooler than I expected. This is too beautiful. Goodbye, Mr. Sun. Another day that I will not forget. This right here is a masterpiece. Oh, Lexi, um, in all your 196 countries, tell me, have you ever seen anything like this? I have never seen anything that looks quite like this. That was definitely one of the most epic sunsets I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> now, if that's not the Pamukkale experience, I really don't know what is. What was that, Polly? You're not a fan of Russian influences? Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? <gasps> it's a full-blown puppy party. Who the heck cares about Pamukkale? They have puppies. It's a whole bunch of pups. It's a puppy party. I have died and I've gone to heaven. Forget the thermal pools. I want to be right here. It's way more important. That's what most people say when they meet me. <laughs> Listen, I tell you what. You tell me where the best restaurant is, I'll give you back your balls. Yep. All right, we have a deal. Put it there. That's what I'm talking about, yeah? Yeah, it's a good dog. Hey man, if you want people to, to hit the like button, just give me a slap with some skin. Thanks, dog. The dog is sitting behind the car and he doesn't want to move. What kind of street dog is that? One with no... No street smarts. It's <laughs> a good boy! Oh, oh he did it! <laughs> oh, well, that's my highlight of turkey, guys. Hello! Uh, P day with chicken and cheese. Brett, energy levels are looking a little low there, bud. I need my Lama June. Such a cool local little spot here. And the owners are so sweet. They scrambled everyone together. You can tell that travel is definitely down right now. These are the businesses that have relied on people to come through their doors to be able to put their kids through school, to be able to keep their lights on. I would say there's definitely some huge benefits to traveling right now, having these incredible places for the most part to yourself, having less crowds to deal with, but most of all, to be able to really support other businesses, it's such a fantastic thing. And uh, if you're in a position where you're willing to get out there and see the world, I highly recommend it. We made it. Whew. Yes, we did. Good night. Good night. See you in a few hours. <laughs> oh no, a flat tire. If only there was someone to fix it. Can you fix it? Consider it a deal. Here's the truth, Daryl doesn't know how to fix a car, he's just an actor. But the good news is, I was able to use that clip copyright free with today's video sponsor, Storyblocks. Whenever I hit a snag in my journey as a content creator, I head over to storyblocks.com to have a look at their over 1 million clips from 4K footage of drone shots in Iceland to smoke overlays. They have an endless plethora of media just waiting for you to use it. And with the right subscription, you can actually get unlimited downloads, allowing you to use these clips and maintain full ownership and full monetization over your project. Don't believe me? Ask Daryl, ask Carl, and ask Philip. They'll all vouch that this is a must-have product as a YouTuber, as a storyteller. And guys, if you want to get started with Storyblocks for yourself, check out that link down below. And now let's get back on the road to find a real mechanic. Howdy, neighbor. Morning, neighbor. Good morning. Morning, neighbor. Good morning, guys. This is why I came back. I want to experience those thermal springs. We peer pressured Lexi into coming in. That feels so good. For all my science people out there, if you're wondering why it's hot, it's because there's a lot of people upstream and there's no bathrooms up there. So everyone goes in the pools and it all comes right back down to me. The busier it is here, the warmer the water gets. Aww. It's a vlogger soup. 
And this is the difference of just an hour and a half. It is packed. You definitely want to get here earlier. Oh, hey. I think we have to get out. I don't want to. I'm going to stay here forever. This is the towel for all four of us. Lexi was smart enough to bring a hand towel. I was the third to use it. That makes this the wettest for you. Aren't you having the best day ever? Aren't you having the best day ever? All right, so we have checked out of our hotel. We're back on the road and we are desperately, desperately trying to find coffee. Oh my gosh. If I could eat one thing every day, healthy me at least. Healthy me would eat this every day. Every good road trip has its unplanned stops. What do you see over there, Brett? Oh, gee whiz there, bud. This is quite the spot. Oh, wow. Wow. That was a special moment that we bonded. <laughs> Ew, why are your hands wet? So on our road trip, we're not exactly driving straight to Cappadocia. We've made a few detours because we want to be able to see some of these beautiful spots along the way. And what we're actually doing is super inefficient. We're going all the way back to the coastline because we want to see the Aegean and the Mediterranean Sea. And another stop is actually not the ocean, but you can see the blue cracking through. That is a lake. It's pretty wild. It's so, so beautiful. Want to go touch the water? Let's go do it. Let's go touch the water. Well, I'm ready to go back to the car. All right, another little stop here. Everyone except Ruby in this group is coffee addicts and we basically need one every three hours. So we're well beyond that point. It's time for a little local stop. Welcome to the Aelids Cafe. Hello. The locals are so sweet here in Turkey. It's incredible. Yeah, Nescafe. Nescafe. <laughs> when you're traveling Asia and you're off away from like a developed city, Nescafe is kind of like the only way you can have a coffee and usually they're loaded with sugar. So I kind of low-key like them. Oh, it's it's actually not even just Asia that has Nescafe. Yeah. It's actually the entire, entire world. world has been saturated somehow with Nescafe. I just had the most exciting experience of my life. Yeah. It was the first time I uh, used a squatty potty. Yeah, demonstrations <laughs> you are You gotta better. squat <laughs> and then you just go potty. I hate that you guys call them that. I hate that name. <laughs> oh, I hate that so much. <laughs> it's so hot. Cheers. Cheers. On with the road trip. The third degree burn. Oh my lord, this is my favorite thing ever. I have to stop. <gasps> Holy! It is the crossing of the goats. Wow. Bye guys! <sighs> Gonna miss them. Bro, don't forget. Durr. Durr. Turns out, Anatalia, the city we're in now is huge. We're in the Big Apple of Turkey. This is a snug so fit. Bad. Nice, we can stop at the gift shop real quick. You're doing great though, I will say. This is Brett's uh, fourth time driving a car, and he's doing great. Yeah, this is how you get your driver's license here in uh, Anatalia. Uh-oh. Something tells me two cars will not fit very well through here. Hey, you go that way. This music's so fitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that music was so perfect. <laughs> Guys, these streets, these restaurants, these boutique hotels, everything's so cool in this town. It's a shame we don't have much time here. Okay, we have just arrived here at the hotel room, and oh my gosh, this room is so cool. Extremely European style, and this is 50, 45 US dollars a night. It's time to go get some dinner. It's been a long day of driving, not crazy hours, but few stops. A really awesome day on the road trip. All right, spent my morning in a coffee shop editing. <laughs> We're saying goodbye to this incredible hotel room. The 1207, it's like living in a European manner. It's so cool. And today we've got a seven hour drive to get to Cappadocia. It's gonna be our longest day on the road, so we definitely need to get going. Now we get to relive it. Oh, Brett, 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 stop, 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 Brett, 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 Brett. Yeah, you got tons of room over here, dude. You got like at least two inches. If ever you want a dope coffee spot, that one right there. We just made a quick little stop here before we leave the city. There's something super crazy. 
First of all, we are just next to an airport. One of the reasons, unfortunately, I won't be able to get my drone up. Now that is not something you see every day. And to have it just outside of the city here, it's pretty remarkable actually. So, so beautiful. The last time I saw something like this, a waterfall going into the ocean was like three years ago in Tikau, Philippines, I think it was. Yeah, he, he just, bit hey, me. Alex, Alex just uh, bit Ruby's face. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about him? Who's Alex? He's Alex. I want to give props to that dude that's getting soaked by the waterfall but still fishes every day. I'm not gonna lie guys, one of my favorite things about Turkey so far has been the prices. I just got a sparkling water for like 20 cents. I got all the groceries I need here for about $8. It's wildly inexpensive. Dinners have been anywhere from five to $12 per person and we're eating really good. You guys aren't gonna believe what I just found. Check this out. Don't forget to leave a like for more useless content. We started our road trip earlier today. Brett and I have rotated between drivers a couple of times and we still have four and a half hours left on this road trip. But the lucky thing is the sights are just incredible. We're going through these rocky mountains and the sun has just about set. It's definitely a beautiful road trip. I highly recommend it to anybody. Just be warned, there are a ton of turns. It's super windy. And so for the passengers in the back, it might get a little tiring. Spirits are a little low right We're now. We're like stuck in this endless loop of time where the road just keeps stretching ahead of us. We were too busy trying to find turkey sandwiches, that's why. And yeah, we've had a lot of laughs skin. though. Yeah, Goat. this has been the best road trip ever. <laughs> Honestly, so many good jokes. We didn't even listen to music for like the past five hours of this six hour road trip. You know? <laughs> We've been sharing travel stories. Deep, deep, dark, deep dark secrets. secrets. <laughs> secrets. Yeah. Ruby has none, which is weird. Oh, huh. Says a lot about her. I think she's just hiding stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have made it to the promised land. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are on hour 11 of our six hour road trip. <laughs> I don't know how. Made it. It's a miracle. I've missed you so much. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Oh, my knees, like, not in the socket. We did it. We did it. And this is the start of Cappadocia. That'll be the next video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys whether this place is truly worth all the hype. I'm super excited to see that for myself and also have a very unique other video in store, but uh, more on that soon. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed the road trip, hit that like button. Also check out these other guys and all their videos and their own unique perspectives on this trip. are you trip. doing this right now? I've got a lot of energy. And guys, let's get lost again in the next one.